<laughs> yeah, let's talk about Bella Fawn. Oh, I love this man. Celebrities always ruin everything, and celebrities ruin everything. It's just what they do. So, um, I'm sure you guys are aware of the over the weekend, um, Bella Fawn supposedly broke the record on OnlyFans for, uh, when she launched her OnlyFans account, um, and made I don't know over two million dollars, and essentially. Um, caused a complete uproar in the sex worker community which then led to OnlyFans changing their policy around how they cash out and how limits are basically done and she effectively ruined OnlyFans for actual legitimate sex workers um, and it just goes to highlight you know um, what happens when you have celebrities um, get involved on platforms or in industries that are predominantly meant to service the I wouldn't say the lowlier types, but the people who generally have no other option but to work on it. Because that's the thing that's really interesting to me with the whole, um, not legitimization or yeah, the kind of legitimization of sex work at the moment in this society, right? Like you looked at porn and those kind of degenerate activities as places where degenerates existed, right? It wasn't an avenue for like your local next door mum um to kind of go online and make a couple of grand because she's selling her feet right it porn was you know mostly um left to the absolute low lives of this world right if you went to meet some freaks you went to the porn industry and you know they kind of uh, were able to kind of uh keep themselves above you know keep their head above water uh make do what they can use exploit technology in really cool and interesting ways and just generally go about things in the right correct way and then kind of you know handle stuff in house wherever it may be and then <clears throat> then somehow it turned into this weird feminist arm where some women who weren't from that sex worker community or who had all the opportunity in life to go any other way apart from sex work or apart from um working in that industry has suddenly kind of used it as a way to kind of prop up their feminist stance right taking ownership of their body agency and what they do all this sort of stuff no one could tell me what i can do i can wear what i want i can suck i mean dicks i want blah, 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 blah and now we're in a situation now where essentially any girl with a smartphone camera who kind of you know is a bit of a freak in their own bedroom can just get it on without that much effort and without um really commit into that degenerate lifestyle from the comfort of their home and essentially just turn it off the moment they step out of their rooms but of course this is only damaging the actual people who actually need a platform like only fans right i'd imagine people who are who can't put their lives at risk by going out and kind of engaging in any kind of um sex work in public i guess in some regards right in then sort of like solicitating work in that regard and better fall as essentially um expose that truth in a way that i would have never imagined <laughs> it's just funny to see it so this is sex workers blame better form for changes at only fans that harm their income and this is from the nbc news it says sex workers and other content creators who use only fans platform to support their livelihoods are blaming actress bella fawn for changes in his terms of service that include caps and holes and payments the changes came after a number of people who were reported to have asked for refunds saying that fawn charged 200 dollars for a naked photo in which she was not nude according to the changes times and guess who reported on the la times our girl amy colfin Fawn, who posted on her own accounts that she did not offer nudity, told the Times that the screenshots of the supposed offer circuit and social media had been falsified. Yeah, of course you say that. And it's funny too because Bella Fawn is friends of who? Another problematic um, social media icon, Tana Mongo. So it does make sense, isn't it? Like, you know? birds that flock together and all that malarkey it continues says um content creators say only fans subsequently imposed payment caps of 50 dollars on pay-per-view posts and a hold on payments that would force um some international creators to wait 30 days to receive their money so she went in there made her two mil um they changed the caps and now some users uh, or some content creators have to wait a whole month to get their money because they're having to pay out refunds on bella's bella phones uh for bella phones uh dubious actions which is funny because I think that, you know, some of these sex workers are getting on their high horse, but I have heard stories of some people, you know, selling a bluff. Like I mentioned before, like Ruby Rose did it, right? Ruby Rose posted a picture on her Instagram stories, somehow suggesting that her and her friend were naked 
and then you had to go on OnlyFans to unlock it. And then we went OnlyFans, it wasn't naked, it was just her in a bra and bikini top, right? It was just like, come on, man, on oh, lingerie. So I think that's a common hustle that women do on those platforms. And by and large, I think, you know, if you're a mark or if you're a whale, you know you're going to get duped here and there along the way, right? That's kind of the game you're playing, right? It's kind of this kind of this dance, right? You've got the money, they've got the goods. So you have this kind of weird dance and you're kind of having to, you know, exploit each other in some way, shape or form. But you can't be saying you're not going to, you're going to upload nudes for $200 and then not send nudes. You know what I mean? That's, that's, that's taking it too far. Users who earn a significant part of their income on OnlyFans blame Fawn for the new policies, which they say limit their ability to make money. <laughs> Fawn22, a former Disney star, made one million in her first day on service, according to Variety. And again, she doesn't need this. Now, I shouldn't say this, right? Because we don't know what her finances are. She could be in a position where she needs to do this. That's why she's resorting to it. But if ever there was a person that didn't need this kind of hassle or attention, it was her, I guess, in that regard. And maybe even in terms of kind of reinventing her look and what she's about, because I thought there was a period in time where Bella Form was trying to get away from being this kind of like um, I, um, vision of sex or something, right? She was trying to step away from that. But I guess no, maybe she's just leaning into it. Because being 22 and just being known for being hot and not actually being a good actress is maybe not the way you want to go about things because it does limit the scope of stuff that you can do, in it? Um, but hey, what do I know? OnlyFans said in a statement that the changes were not based on one user and said that it aims to provide the best platform possible for its community. It says the transaction limits are set to help prevent um, overspending and allow our users to continue to use the site safely. Yeah, right. It says we value all the feedback received things, um, since this change was implemented and we'll continue to review these limits. Um, the form posted a series of tweets Saturday saying that she apologized if she had affected sex workers' ability to make money. She says she intended to only normalize sex work and intends to speak with OnlyFans about the new restrictions. And and again, the entitlement of celebrities, as if, as if people are waiting for Bella Fawn to normalize sex work. People just normalize it already. People are spending their hard-earned money, you know, subscribing to certain people on that platform to get pictures, which I can never understand. Right? Paying money for JPEGs is nuts. Uh, let alone paying money for MP4 files. But regardless, you know, if they want to spend their money on those kind of things, if people are providing that service, do what you want to do. But to suggest that somehow. Bella Fawn is going to be the one to normalize sex work is insane. Um, she said, I went to bring attention to the site. The more people on the site, the more likely a chance to normalize the stigma. It's like, what? And in trying to do this, I hurt you. I risked my career a few times to remove the stigma behind sex work and porn and natural hay tools people stew. What? She's talking about. Um, and it continues that Fawn told Paper Magazine that she was making a documentary about her experience. This is the best bit on OnlyFans with Sean Baker, writer and director of the critically acclaimed films The Frodo Project and Tangerine, which I've watched. Baker denied any involvement in the statement on Friday, claiming that he had only discussed the possible collaboration with Fawn in the far future and had advised her to consult with sex workers first. So hypothetically or allegedly, I'm assuming they were probably doing a couple of lines in a, a beverly hills a mansion somewhere talking as people do when they're high changing ideas what can we do he suggested they do some project with only fans and then she latched onto it and then when she got sober and actually went to something only fans she went to legitimize her project by attaching this documentary film towards it to attach it towards it so to make it seem as if like she was raising funds for the film or to give back to community it's like no it wasn't it was always a it was always a ploy to get more money in your bank account it was always a ploy to maybe increase your brand awareness whatever it is but it was never to normalize sex work like as if as if that is amazing. He's like, I have no involvement with this. He says, I'm an ally and I've literally devoted my career to tell stories that remove stigma and normalize lifestyles that are under attack, Baker said. I would never do anything that could possibly hurt the community. He absolutely disavowed her in the best terms. He says the OnlyFans is not the only platform for sex workers given a wide range of crew. It's, it's, not, it's not only a platform for sex workers given a wide range of creators an opportunity to sell content to subscribers. It also has gained a reputation of offering safe way for sex workers to earn money. Of course, critics who blame Bella Fawn for new policies have accused her of scamming her subscribers and her to creators who use the platform as a primary source of income. She hasn't really... She hasn't really... Um, she hasn't... Uh, her she's basically exposed a scam that scam was always running on there anyway it's just funny that somebody of her level would do that 
<laughs> I finally got caught up on a bit of Fawn only fans and white Disney star and still working actress fucked up a platform that allows sex workers to earn safely with autonomy is basically the snapshot of worldwide co-opting co spaces of white women co-opting spaces for marginalized in the name of empowerment of course it's just funny she tries to be an ally and essentially is the complete opposite of an ally other users who have links to OnlyFans accounts and identify identify as sex workers are also responded on Twitter saying how frustrated they were with Fawn joining the site and potentially inspiring massive changes when so many people in the community rely on it she says here the issue with Bella Fawn is benefiting from OnlyFans is that she's not a sex worker and doesn't need to turn to the site to afford to live when so many of us rely on the money and she's totally fucked us for clout for her shit new movie about sex work when she has no effing idea <laughs> oh i love it another user who goes by username uh miss uh carlette something exo asserted that thousands might suffer from what many i see as repercussions of fawn's behavior said i'm sure she's a nice lady but that doesn't take away from the fact that millions of us are now screwed mothers who relied on that one week pay to feed their kids dad's making a few extra money for their family now due to her scam mistake thousands will suffer oh i just love it it's just such a this is such representative of you know what goes on in most corporations and that they come in and just absolutely fuck up everything for everybody else rebecca madison um, a sex worker from vancouver british columbia who was worked in the industry for the past 15 years said in, she earns all her income from only found during the coronavirus pandemic after she lost her traditional job she's also been able to live comfortably on her sole income from the site so far i wonder what goes on in a woman's mind to go from like traditional job to straight to sex work that's a big leap isn't it there must be some interest in it already in it it's not something that everyone would be able to do even if you're because i wouldn't say it's a promiscuous thing it's not like a confidence thing either it's just like a, a thing in your head right i'd imagine that's a big leap but anyway oh i love it i absolutely love it man i really really do love it it's such an interesting story um to see how she's messed it up for everybody else <laughs> especially when you consider that she was at the i don't know it's, didn't wasn't better phone one of the victims of the whole fappening stuff Did, weren't, didn't a lot of her nudes get leaked anyway so I'm, I, I'm not even sure why there's a demand for it i'm not sure why she'd even want to put herself in that position again because her nudes got leaked i'm sure it was better for one um to an extent where everyone basically saw her for jj and shit so why would you want to exp exploit yourself again in that way maybe it kind of goes to show that maybe the first leak was allegedly manufactured and an inside job we don't know but it's just funny that she tried to legitimize it with the movie and the guy that was supposedly producing it said nah 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 don't include me in your shit i don't want to be any any part of it but yeah um let me know what your thoughts are man did bella Fawn ruin sex work for everybody on only fans or was only fans always doomed um you know because it is what it is <laughs> um because I'm a big believer that that scam already existed. I think people are doing that anyway. People were definitely selling. People are definitely overselling and under delivering on what they were offering. I'm sure some people were offering the goods because I'm because there's a there's actually an Instagram account. I remember stumbling across where this guy goes around reviewing um, sex workers um, OnlyFans accounts and giving them a rating out of ten and shit as if what they offer and value for money and stuff. So um, I'm sure there's a community of reviewers out there that do that. But I do think there's some people out there that are kind of you know finagling in the game and unfortunately Bella Fawn just blew up everyone's spot just kind of baited up the whole thing um I, I don't know again people that are paying for this stuff is insane man again it's just you would never have guessed it in the technology age that we live in at the moment that people would actually be paying or subscribing to porn in that way like it's just wild isn't it I think people already are a bit mad or a bit nuts or a bit kind of freaked out when people say they've got like you you know porn up premium accounts and stuff so imagine paying for a subscription to you know to see a 22 year old former disney star supposed to be getting nude it's like you could definitely be spending your money on other things but you know a man and their money in it easily parted easily parted